From part 1, we know the velocity is going to be equal to 1 over 2k, 0.1t squared minus 2t plus 30, which means that the velocity is 1 over 20 t squared minus 2t plus 30. What we want to do now is to find the displacement. And displacement, it is the integration of the velocity. So it is integration of 1 over 20 t squared minus 2t plus 30 dt. It is 1 over 20 of t to the power of 3 over 3 minus 2 t squared over 2 plus 30t plus c. So the displacement is going to be 1 over 60 t to the power of 3 minus t squared plus 30t plus c. We want to make use of this to find the distance between signals x and y. When it is passing through signal x, that is when t is equal to 0, which means that the displacement, substituting 0 into here, it is 0 minus 0 plus 0 plus c, so the displacement is just c. And when it passes through signal y, that is 20 seconds later, so t is equal to 20, the displacement is going to be 1 over 60 multiplied by 20 cubed minus 20 squared plus 30 times 20 plus c. And this is equal to 1000 over 3 plus c, which means that the train which travels from x to y, from the position of x to the, from, to the position of y, when it's at x, S is C. When it is at Y, S is 1000 over 3 plus C. So to find this distance here, what we need to do is to take this minus away this. So the distance that is required by the question is going to be 1000 over 3 plus C minus away C. So my answer is going to be equal to 1000 over 3 meters.